Dear brothers and sisters, as we come to reflect on the word of God, I would take for reflection for today the gospel of Mark chapter 1 verses 40 to 41. Let's ask God as we begin our reflection on the word of God for his presence. God, a loving Father, thank you for bringing us at this time to reflect on your word. As we listen to your word, let your saving act happen in my life. Let forgiveness of sins bring me to fullness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Chapter 1, verse 40 to 45 reads, A leper came to him, begging him and kneeling him. He said to Jesus, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony for them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly, but stayed out in the country, and the people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, why do you think Jesus came to this earth? Did he come? to give us healing like he did to the leper? Why did Jesus come to earth? Did he come to bring us salvation? Why did Jesus come to earth to save us? to have mercy on us? What do you think? Why did Jesus come to this earth? I help you, dear brothers and sisters, with few word of God, which describes why did Jesus come to this earth? God spoke why he came to this earth. John chapter 3 verse 17 reads, Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world. Jesus did not come to condemn the world. It speaks, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Jesus came to this earth 
that the world may be saved through him. We hear in John chapter 9 verse 39, Jesus himself telling us, Jesus said, I came into this world for judgment so that those who do not see may see. Why did Jesus come? So that those who do not see may see. He is not speaking about physical vision. He is speaking of those who do not see God may see God. That's why Jesus came into the world. In John chapter 6 verse 38 again we hear why Jesus came into the world. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him who sent me. Jesus came to this earth to do the will of the Father. And what is the will of Father, dear brothers and sisters? That we may all have life and life in all its fullness. John chapter 10 verse 10. We are St. Paul telling us in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15, Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Jesus came into the world not to condemn the world. He came to save the world. Jesus came into the world that those who do not see may see. Jesus came into the world to do the will of the Father. And the will of the Father is that the world may be saved. The sinners may be saved, dear brothers and sisters. We hear in John chapter 6 verse 51. Again, we hear what God intends. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. God sent Jesus Christ into the world or to the answer to my question, why did Jesus come into the world? He came to save this world. He came into the world to save the sinners. He came into this world to do the will of the Father that men and women may have life in life on all life in all its fullness. Till when? Till eternity forever. That's why, dear brothers and sisters, at the birth of Jesus, the angels sang in the heavens. From the clouds, they were able to see glory to God in the highest and peace to men of all goodwill. So he has come that all men and women of goodwill may have life everlasting. So this is my dear brothers and sisters that Jesus has come into the world. Now when we take the help of the gospel passage we read today, gospel of Mark chapter 1 verses 40 to 45, Jesus cleanses a leper, helps us to understand that Jesus came into this world not only for world. Jesus came into this world not only for sinners. Jesus came into this world as much for me. He came into this world 
to save me. And as you have taken this time to reflect, dear brothers and sisters, believe that God has come to save you. And his salvific plan is once again inspiring you to receive this salvation. You paid attention to the passage that there was a leper who came to Jesus. In Jesus' time, lepers were not permitted to come out. Actually, they were not even permitted to live among the people. Some of them were ostracized, kept away. And some of them were given a bell. When they moved around, they rang the bell so that the others would be aware. In some places, they would not only ring the bell and they would say, unclean, unclean. For people were afraid of contacting leprosy. For leprosy to them was not only a disease that was fatal, that would take life, but it was also a sign of sin. So lepers were kept away. Now we have passed through COVID and we know what it means to be keeping away isolation, quarantine. Lepers were kept in quarantine. They were kept away. But you heard in today's passage of words, 40, a leper came to Jesus. He broke the quarantine. He broke the isolation. He came to Jesus. He began begging him, have mercy. He began kneeling down before him in humility, in desperation. And he said to him, if you choose, you can make me clean. Brothers and sisters, I would invite as you listen, whisper in your heart to this Lord. Lord, I too come as I listen to your word at this time. I come to you. I submit myself to you. Please do to me what you will, for you can make me clean. Clean that I may have you in my life, dear brothers and sisters. We hear in Mark chapter 3, what happened? You know, wherever Jesus went, he restored them and he told them. He told them, do not tell this. Jesus told this leper when he told, Lord, if you choose, Jesus felt 
pity for him, he stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I do choose you be made clean. Let's pray. Lord, pronounce the same words to me. I choose you be made clean. Amen. 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 Jesus, speak to me these words and make me clean. Dear brothers and sisters, after this, Jesus told him, do not tell others about this. He told them, do not tell this to others. But he went and he told everybody, Jesus has healed me, Jesus has healed me. And we hear same thing, Jesus in same gospel of Matthew chapter 3, verse 12, Jesus speaks after he healed There were a multitude of people near the Sea of Galilee. And then there was a deceased person who was brought to him with unclean spirit. And the unclean spirit shouted, Son of God, you are Son of God. And Jesus tells. He sternly ordered them not to make him known. And we hear in chapter 5 of the same Gospel of Mark 5.43. Here Jesus restores to life this young girl. You remember he went, held her hand and told Talita Kumi, rise little one. And this girl rose to life. And he tells to his family, he strictly ordered them that no one should know this and told them not to proclaim this. Again, we hear in chapter 7 of Mark, verse 36. We hear in chapter 7 of Mark, Jesus cures a deaf man. And he tells in verse 36, Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one. But the more he ordered them, they went and zealously proclaimed. Again, we have one more miracle in Mark chapter 8. Jesus, here, dear brothers and sisters, the blind Bartimaeus, he gives them sight. And we have in the same chapter 8, we have Peter declared, Whom do you say I am? You are son of God, the Messiah. And Jesus tells him in verse 30, He sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about it, dear brothers and sisters. Jesus has been telling not to tell anyone about what he has done. Why is Jesus telling not? to tell anyone. I would tell you, go and proclaim Jesus. Bear witness, bear testimony, tell loudly, speak the great God to people. But Jesus himself is telling, do not tell. 
dear brothers and sisters, we heard in Jesus healing verse 43 when he told leper, don't tell anyone because people who hear would tell, Jesus made me physically well. There is a doctor, an amazing doctor. He makes us well. Or the demon, the evil spirit that whom he told, don't tell because devil would never tell the truth about Jesus. He told Peter, don't tell because people were not ready to know Jesus. They came to Jesus, dear brothers and sisters, for this reason, that he is making them physically well. He is bringing healing into their lives. He is bringing fullness of health into their lives. And they went to Jesus. Everywhere Jesus was there, they were venting. You remember that woman who was suffering from hemorrhage? He went and touched. Even if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be made well. Dear brothers and sisters, what do we come to Jesus for? And what did Jesus come for in this world? To save sinners. He came into this world to bring fullness of life and life everlasting. May God continue his will and his plan in our lives. Amen.